hey guys it's a beautiful morning and welcome to my channel if you're not subscribed to this channel best moment for you to just quickly click on that subscribe button I'll be talking about one of your favorite lotions so you want to watch this video from the very beginning to the very end and don't forward any part of the video so that you won't miss out on the important and the gist i have for you so today we'll be talking about the stay young face and body cream yes it's, it's face and body cream even if you see it in a smaller container which you're trying to um tell yourself that is a face cream container then the big container is a body cream container no whether big size or small size or it's just the sizes that differs it is the same thing it is the same content it's the same everything that they even wrote on the body so let's just dive into where we're here actually um a whole lot of people have said things that are not really nice on facebook about these products now some people in this space might have said what i don't know and then maybe some other people that could not come out to give their own review but to cut the long story short when there was excessive hype on this stay young face and body cream i bought the bigger size and i decided okay so why is there a hype over this since it's not so expensive i bought it and i'm like okay let me just try out these products so i'm going to give my own personal experience and what i really think about this stay young face and body cream so if you have intentions to buy the cream or you're already using it if you would like to discontinue or you'd like to continue just watch this video from the very beginning to the very end and you would know if you need to continue or stop usage okay so one thing to start with is who is this stay young body and face cream for is it for the oily skin people is it for someone that is acne prone is it for someone with a combined skin is it for someone with a dry skin this is the first question you should ask yourself anytime you're getting a cosmetic product because every if we should come out today and start talking about every product every single product has that person that it is not good on so i have decided that i will not be concentrating on the dark side let me concentrate on the bright side if you're an acne prone person this is not for you if you're a pimple prone person this is not for you in fact if you're oily skin person just when you see stay young face cream and body cream just run away i'm, I'm giving you facts run away for your life yes the product is actually nice they said it's not a bleaching product and whatsoever the ingredients they wrote on it that's not our business but i am telling you out of experience that if you're early skin person please stay off if you're acne prone or pimples prone it's not your village people stay off so let me talk some positive things about this um face and body cream a whole lot of people have recorded that it has helped to treat their stubborn spot yes if you're if you use this to correct a spot in fact any spot that you have been trying to correct for the past how many years that has not been corrected once you use this stay young body and face cream it's going to clear that spot it is good at in fact it is a bomb at correcting dark spots especially long treated dark spot that refuse to go severe dark spot it is bay at correcting it and also it removes sunburn in some people and those people that have discoloration of skin it helps them to unify the complexion maybe you have cook and fanta yes this stay young can help unify your complexion now remember i said you should watch this video from the very beginning to the very end if you go and miss out on some parts and then you say you real said before you will start opening your mouth and say you real said you better watch this video from the very beginning to the very end now if you've not subscribed to this channel this will be the best platform for you the best platform for you so just click on that subscribe button swiftly now my honest advice if you are using this stay young face and body cream if you're a caramel skin person or you're a dark skin person you've used it has corrected your problems in fact you use the container or two please discontinue usage it's supposed to be like a, um, a body cream or a face and body cream that you touch and then discontinue for a while you want to do something again you go there and touch i don't mean you using it as keeping one or two days while using it no use it at a stretch and then stop you will not want to hear my advice now now for those people who are light skinned you know most times i always say that not all lotions or cream are formulated for both light skin and dark skin persons so if you're a light skin person and you're using the stay young face and body cream it is bad for you especially when you're a light skin person and you have a dry skin you would never regret using this lotion or oh, why do i like lotion so much you never regret using this cream it is so nice it will pop you in fact it can never stop popping you you're going to be looking like a bay all the time so but if you're a caramel skin person just like i said earlier do what i said if you want to listen to my own advice but if you don't want to listen i wonder why you are even watching this video in the first place 
before i move to the ingredients also i would like to chip in this um if you're using this stay young face and body cream so i use a sunblock alongside with it in fact most most lotions that does not contain sunblock or sunscreen in this country that we are in nigeria especially if you are in the north that the sun is very scorching auntie get yourself a sunblock if you cannot get yourself a sunblock then do not go out in the sun stay inside because you are using the lotion you just stay inside your house don't go out too. it doesn't like the sunlight it doesn't like of course it doesn't have sunscreen so will it like the uv ray nope. it doesn't like heat so if you're somebody that you roast yam or you're a corn roaster or you're cooking with charcoal or you're cooking with firewood you know this kind of things will produce excessive heat you you will not really like it especially those people that are doing all this large um catering work you don't use lotions like this because you're going to get your skin burnt. You will not know that the skin is burnt. It's just that that particular place will not be. All your hands and all those places that go close to the heat. It will not just all go well with you. It wouldn't work out. So if you want to use the lotion, stay away. Let's just move to the ingredients. Now it has sterile glycer hetanate, 0.2%, steric acid, propelling glycol, B wax, petroleum jelly, glycerine, vitamin E. So it means if you have allergies to vitamin E, just run away. Then cocoa butter, Seric alcohol, um, citrus, distilled water, and fragrance, of course. I just forgot to add one very important part. This um, cream actually helps with knuckles. So if you have been treating knuckles before, or probably you had knuckles from one lotion you did, if you start using this lotion, yes, it's going to help you blend the bit. I'm not saying it's going to remove the knuckles, like 100%, but it's going to help you blend. So now let's now move to the side effect. That's why I told you to watch this video to the very end. First of all, it's cause skin thinning it's going to thin out the layer of your skin second of all in some people it causes face redness it might remove the sunburn and then replace it with redness authentic thirdly in some people it gives them green vein in very few people very very few it gives stretch mark this body cream is not known for giving stretch mark at all so i would almost say this body cream will not give you stretch mark in some people at the beginning of usage it might not give them pimples to clear their dark spots but on the long run, it gives them severe pimples and acne. Now, it shouldn't be like Yurel will just come and be saying things she doesn't know. At least I've given you my own part of it. So let's move to Facebook. Remember I told you guys that I'll be screen munching and coming to show you. So let us be gone. So I'll start with this person that was replying someone else's comment. She was trying to say she think it's the fake that is outside. Because actually to see the original of this product is very hard. So that is why people are spreading bad reviews on the product. So whosoever is the manufacturer of this product or whosoever is importing it from Ghana, I beg, try to allow your original circulate because the fake is everywhere. So this next person, she said it causes sunburn. I would like to disagree with her because it causes redness. There's a difference between redness and sunburn. Redness is just the early stage of sunburn. It never born. So um, another person came and said plenty, plenty sunburn. Well, let's just agree with the first person that said they probably got the fake one. So let's just move to the next person. This said it's good but it gives white patches so maybe it gave her white patches we don't know then this other person advised that it should be used only at night so if you know you still want to go ahead and use this lotion or this cream you should use it only at night i've always said it's that if you're using a lightning product it, is, it works better even at night it works better especially lotion use it at night paka paka if you don't want problem for your life so this other person complained that one week of usage this is what it did to my face so you can see she has redness at the other corner of her face someone was even trying to ask her replying to her comments that do you use it during the day so guys if you want to use the stay young face and body cream if you are using it already you better start using it only at night don't create problems for yourself so the next person said if you want to choose a product just know your skin type which i take as important and i always tell you guys so body differs and um this lady said it didn't work for her she used the body soap the black cream or whatsoever it did not work for her then she used shea butter as correct whatever it is it did someone said it was fake and someone said it will surely work for another person yes the fact that it did not work for mr a doesn't mean it will not work for mr b a particular product doesn't just have even if not juju not be everybody should they really work for that so guys uh let's stop here so thank you for always coming back to my channel and if you've not subscribed i'm bringing more obunga just for you uh -huh. so don't go anywhere and remember this channel is about health wellness and beauty so even if you're not here for review you might be here for a wellness tip see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye